Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Tiny TV Jam. The Tiny TV Jam was a Pico 8 game jam that had to do with this little TV. Basically, the person who hosted this jam made this little TV with a little game on it, and people said, oh, you should make a game jam out of that. So they, in turn, challenged uh, developers to make a little 10 by 11 game on a tiny TV, and they could customize the TV and everything. And it's pretty cool. There's a lot of um, games entered in this jam, so I'm going to play each game, about 10 per video for a minute each. Links to the individual will be in the description, and all my info will also be in the description. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorite, so keep a lookout for that. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Next. We're playing Pico Pinball. Oh. Okay. Am I using the paddles? Right? No, I'm just moving the TV. Okay. I kind of feel like I've got it stuck in a loop. There we go. Get the, get the things. Yeah. Ooh, the TV lights up when it gets hit as well. It's a very simple pinball level. I wonder if they're going to continue and make like a whole tiny pinball course. It works well. And a pretty good start. Cool. Next. We're playing projector screen. Um, they did this last minute and just made like a little projector screen that projects this little picture. So the projection screen looks good. It does look like a, a projector thingy. I'm not sure what this picture is though. But then again, I'm not sure figuring out what tiny stuff are, is. What tiny stuff is. Um, this developer possibly finished the game after the gym had ended. Even, so I guess it was a very, very last second thing. I wonder how much time they put in total to this. It's cool to see them do something with the TV and transform it. Next. We're playing Game Boy Advance SP Doodle. Game Boy Advance was the type of Game Boy I had. Oh, it's got that same image in it. Weird. I wonder if that was like default what was in the TV or something. The Game Boy looks pretty accurate. I had a red one. I have a red one. I still have it. I had a red one. I purchased it with a red case, which is like a big bag that holds all your games, as well as um, Pokemon Ruby. And I remember going with my dad to pick it up and being so excited. It was like the first thing that I'd ever bought. In. Bought in? The first time, the first thing I've ever purchased uh, with my own money on my own. It was a very good... Uh, take on the TV. Next. We're playing Tiny Triss, which looks really cool. You've got the console underneath the TV and everything. And yeah, this is Tetris. Music's quite nice. And so is the background. Right, I want this to sort of fall naturally, because when it hits the bottom, I want to shift it in. Yeah, like that. That won't fit right there, so we'll just push it along here. Okay, that kind of fits perfectly there. What is this? I could also put it down here. Bam! Bam! I'm doing great so far. <laughs> This is a very simple uh, Tetris game. That tower is getting kind of tall. Can this fit in here? Yeah. Right, next. We're playing Tiny TV Boxman. It's a port of one of this developer's other games called Boxman. Okay. D pad to move it down will make the box go faster. Alright, so we can kind of climb up the blocks. Not that one though, because it's too tall. I need to get some stair steps here so we can kind of get up there. Alright. So we're just supposed to uh, survive. 
hope we're not unlucky. I'm just trying to be on high ground. Ah, oh, I sped it up too much. It's a very nice game, though. It works very well. I don't know why it's not one more pixel over. Um, so that it could fill up the whole front of the TV screen. Instead, there's like the blue background. It looks a little touch odd to me. Oh, we're going to be stuck in this little space. Oh, uh, no. Nope, we're stuck. Darn it. Next. We're playing Pac-Man. This is procedurally generated maps by the looks of things, which is pretty cool. Old Z to see your score. Let me move around. You seem to just keep going in whatever direction you start going towards uh, more often. Maybe it's just when you eat this. Go away. Ah! Oh. I hate it when they do that, when they sort of branch off. Alright, you're both dead. Ah, oh, those yellow boxes are because they spawn there, in between them. Sorry, I cleared the first level. Pac-Man Ghost in the background, beautiful. I like the fact that levels are procedurally generated. That's pretty cool to me anyway. playing Tiny Run for Your Life. This is a two-player game, so I'm playing with Lewis. Hello. He's kind of off screen, I guess, so whatever. Um, I like the look of this tiny TV. All right, so I hit up. You need to hit up to start, I would say, or down. What? All right, so I'm the orange guy, and you kind of want the other player to die, like you died because you went off screen. Okay. So, we're going to have to restart. No. I won. End of conversation. Just kidding. I very much like the background. Ooh. Am I the blue person now? Who am I? Oh. Good job. I don't know why I suddenly was confused as to who I was. Alright, now. Oh. My fingers went W-A-S-D. was a jerk thing to do. You made it so only you could cross. Ah, this is a pretty cool game. Um, it's the only game in this jam that is a um, multiplayer. So that's pretty cool they did make a multiplayer game. Ah, yes! Alright, cool. Next. Alright, that was the last game entered in the jam, but I realized I've never actually played the jam invitation. The jam invitation was a tiny game of Pong where you're the orange person. And that's totally a game that you can just play. And that introduced people to the jam. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. I've picked out a couple of my favorite little games and I will write an article about them soon so keep a lookout for that if you don't follow me on twitter follow me on twitter it's where you'll be updated on everything that i do it seems this little glare on the tv is quite distracting or makes it quite challenging all right bye